All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. Another UFC, U I say UAC, UFC 2 EA Sports video that completely messed up the title, but ignore that. We've got Gilbert Melendez today, and someone requested that I use Gilbert Melendez, but he's not usually the type of, I don't, like, his style doesn't match with mine, so I wouldn't usually use him. So we're going to do just one fight in this video, one or two, depending on, like, if I, if I knock him out really quick, then I'll do two, but... Most likely just one fight in this video. We've got Kami, Khabib Nurmagomedov, which is, I, I guess it's a decent matchup, but basically, yeah, someone asked me to show them how I would fight with Melendez. I wouldn't, because I wouldn't really use him, but I would basically, okay, this guy, this guy, I should have expected this, but for some reason, all right, let's take him down, just because the clinch, we got to watch out for the clinch. Khabib is most likely the best clinch. Actually, Cormier has a ridiculous clinch that but we're, we're going to basically... Oh, this is not a good matchup because he's going to go for the clinch quite a lot. But, um, yeah. How I would fight with Melendez is push the pace all the time. We're going to try and stay out of the clinch. Norman Gomadov, his clinch is going to be crazy. But push the pace, push him back. It's going to be a lot harder because i got to worry about the clinch. There you go. In a fight like this, try and just stay away all the time. He got me right there, break that, and again, push the pace, try and back your opponent up, which we're doing right now, don't chase him with strikes, stalk him, because if they're backing up, you ain't going to hit them, but you see, got him against the cage, try and keep him against the cage if we can, break the, oh, we didn't, alright, we didn't block that, which I thought we did, but, we just got to be careful because he's going to be looking for that clinch the whole time. Don't let him get out of the cage. And the good thing about Melendez, which allows you to fight like this, is he has very good stamina. But I'm not liking this matchup against Norman Gomadov. It just makes it... You don't want to get too close to Khabib. Because like I say, his, his clinch game is crazy. But you see, we're just pushing the pace right here. And like people don't... Some people don't like to fight at paces like this. How did he get that clinch? He's going to get me in the tie again. But we'll break that. And again, just keep, keep him crumbling. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start going for the body a lot more. And you notice that I'm not using too many um, kicks, which is just choice. But when you're fighting like this, kicks, you don't really need kicks in close range. But you see, his stamina is forcing him to fight in a way which I'm assuming he doesn't want to. But it's so hard when you're fighting against people who like to clinch so much because you got to worry about that all the time. But you see here, keep him against the cage. He's rocked. Keep throwing. Throw. Look, look. Keep him against the cage. That's what you want to do. Push the pace. Don't let him get away. Look, he's rocked again and he's gone for the clinch. Because he's rocked, break that easily. He should be out. There you go. He's crumbled. Absolutely crumbled. So Gilbert Melendez, really, that's the fight over. How long is that? Three minutes? <laughs> Should I do another fight? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is that is that enough? Let's fight someone different. A different opponent. We got another opponent, Nate Diaz. I mean, his reach is a problem, but it's a bit of a better mashup. As long as we can get inside. We should be all right. There you go. He, he's he's fight. We like we don't want to back off. That's the thing. I'm, like seriously, a hook can't hit someone who's leaning. There you go. And push him. Keep pushing him back. Don't let him get out of the cage. Out of the, out of the cage. Don't let him get out of the corner. Basically. There you go. We want to meet him. Because he wants to try and, and slip. Well, he ain't slipping, but... Okay. He, he's one of them parry fighters. Free, leg, free body kicks? I didn't even mean to do that. It's lagging a little bit. It's, it's lagging quite a lot now. There you go. Okay. As long as we don't take... Because like I said, you're going to take hits if you're inside. Which I don't like taking too many hits. Which is, again, why this fighting style doesn't suit me but 
his opponent we can't to defend. Exactly. well we are inside but Very we, basically you want to brawl with melendez i don't like to brawl Joe, that's as you guys may know body kick right there I, I know you're going low and then high and shit hit him with an uppercut right there don't let him get out don't let him get out look you see the way we're closing off the cage if you follow him around with strikes you can't do that don't let him get out there we're doing a good job oh i tried to throw hot okay there you go body kick we're doing a good job he's got away but you see the way we're backing him up all the time all the time Wait for him to parry because he, he likes to do that. My stamina's a bit low. God damn. Yo, I didn't press to do that. But you see right here, this is where how it doesn't suit me because like you can see my player is hurt. But with Melendez, you want to keep pressing. But I don't want to keep pressing because my body's hurt, you see? That's where it don't make sense. But you see, keep him against the cage. Another knee. Body kick, he's not blocking his body at all. And that's where my flaws come in, and I'm not guarding when I should be. But look at the way, like, this is why I don't understand people who fight like this because this fight could go either way. Both of our bodies is hurt. It doesn't make sense to fight like this, you know? It just doesn't. Because it just takes one good hit from either of us, and we're, we're going down. Damn, my stamina. See now, if I was fighting regularly, well, if I was fighting regularly, my body wouldn't be in this condition in the first place. So, I guess that's something. But like again, I, I can't tell who won this round because both of us are landing. It's just, it's just up in the air. It's just, it's just a mess. Maybe someone else will fight differently with Melendez, but I don't see it working out too well. I don't see the counter game working out with Melendez at all. Um, ground game, maybe clinch, no. And there's no, there's no in between of the counter game and like going all in. You know what I'm saying? So, this is how I would fight Melendez at least. All right, he's not, he's not, he ain't touching gloves. Gonna back him up. That, all right, we didn't get him with those at all. But now he's against the cage. All right, we just let him use his stamina right there. But you see, we can't hit straights. Like, that's a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to start landing body kicks and then uppercuts to follow them. But you see, the stamina, that's a Like, his stamina should be a bit better than this, man. I feel like everyone should have something... See, Nate Diaz is faster than Melendez. That's a problem. That that shouldn't be the case at all. And w when you're standing in the pocket, you're you're open to anything. Like, all right, now I'm see now you could tell. Like, I'm starting to back up a bit more because I'm not really, I'm not really feeling this style of play. I'm trying to catch him with a straight uppercut, straight. But the straight is barely landing. There you go. There you go. Straight overhand. Can't hit him with that. Just keep closing off the cage. He wants to lean back, so we'll kick him in his body because he ain't fat Joe. Lean back again. Kick him in his body. Go on, lean back. Oh, we couldn't. See, the reach... The reach advantage is crazy and it's, it's like Melendez more or less has this problem against whoever he fights because of his moveset. He doesn't have... Oh, I keep trying to come in with that straight and it's just not working. There you go, caught him again. You just want to keep pressing. Work the body right there. Parry fighters. These parry fighters. Catch him with an uppercut, close off the cage again. I'm always going to get caught with these head kicks, especially when I get aggressive. I always get caught because I keep my guard down a lot more than I should. He's going to throw a head kick soon. I can feel it. But again, this isn't a good matchup for him because Nate Diaz, like, like I said, you want to have the, um, the stamina advantage with Melendez. 
No one has a stamina advantage on Nate Diaz. On any of the Diaz brothers, really. Their, their stamina is just crazy. But I feel like we're doing a good job. Damn, but we got caught. You see, this is the problem. Um, Like I said, anyone... This is anyone's fight. When you fight like this, it's anyone's fight. But you see, he's probably going to get knocked out because he's doing all this parry shit. We're throwing uppercuts. I'm not trying to. I'm trying to throw the straight. There you go. We're going to have to count off to get the straight off. That's still my round. With, with, oh, damn. I thought, why do I keep doing that? I thought the round was over. I'm here relaxing and shit. The round isn't even over. But we're going to start throwing a lot more body kicks because he's just leaning. <laughs> like He's just leaning. And again, with Melendez's reach... You cannot hit someone who's leaning. It's damn near impossible to hit someone if they're leaning. With other fighters, if they're leaning back and you throw a straight, you can catch them. Look, can't catch them right there, even from that close. I think I won that round, though, still, regardless of the fact that he rocked me as well. We, we done just enough. So he, whenever he leans, we're just going to wait for him to lean, kick him in the body, and then follow up. But he's got the stamina advantage, which, like I say, you don't, you don't want. The fighting with Melendez just goes against everything... I agree with in this game like everything how many this okay five round five but you see he came he walked up to me and leaned I'm gonna get close he's gonna lean see you know what I'm not even gonna do it okay that I was just gonna say I'm gonna do body knees instead of body kicks but that body kick didn't even reach all right now it's starting to lag can I get in there you go all right stamina's down and he's caught me. Of course. Alright, can we... Oh, we couldn't slip out. See what I mean? And this fight is done. Yeah, I've, I've lost. It is what it is. Like, you can't... It's just... I mean, I thought how I feel I sh you should fight with Melendez. We've done the job. But like I said, we could have finished him in that round. Same way he finished us. It's just... It's up in the air when you fight like that. And I don't like fighting like that at all. But... Nate Diaz got it, and when you're that, oh damn, that, that, that little glitch right there though, um, when you get in close, people can just do that, just start throwing strikes to the body, so I don't understand what the point is, that's why I'm so baffled when people fight against me like that, because it's just like, you're gonna lose, and obviously, we couldn't really do that to him, because... The reach again. If I threw those, I wouldn't hit him. But yeah, it was it was anyone's fight. I don't really care that I lost. I, I lose all kinds of fights. Um, so my record is fucked because I be using all kinds of fighters. But if you enjoyed this, you're welcome to seeing it. And the next one, someone requested the same person requested requested Stefan Stroop, who I feel a little bit more comfortable with because I won't have to be in close. But hope you enjoyed it. If you want to know how to fight with Gilbert, but Gilbert Melendez, there it is right there. It doesn't really, it, it, it works sometimes, I guess, but you could lose just as well as you could win. But 